Hey everybody, this is Christy with Betty Chic Boutique and I am a part-time Poshmark reseller. You can find my Poshmark closet at Betty Chic 1116. If you're on Instagram, you can also find me there at Betty Chic Boutique. And on your way out tonight, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, or even better, if you want to subscribe to my channel, uh, you can just click the subscribe button below. So I am coming to you today with a Goodwill Bins uh, thrift haul. I went to the Goodwill Bins. It was a, a morning uh, excursion to the Bins last week. Normally I'm going after work and it's, you know, usually pretty quiet. Um, the Bins close around seven o'clock um, here. It's about five miles away from my house, so it's super close. Um, so I can stop there on my way home. And uh, they're usually, you know, pulling the bins in um, as you get closer to seven o'clock. So it kind of, it's pretty quiet. And what was a little bit different about this time, I, for some reason, uh, it was like 10 o'clock in the morning. It was crazy there. Everybody was there apparently shopping for some stuff. So they kept, you know, bringing the bins out and then people would just, you know, glom onto it. And I just kept going, you know, the opposite direction of the cloud or the crowds and, you know, taking my time, making sure I was trying to look at everything to see if there was any, you know, damage or anything to the item that would make me not want to uh, pick it up. My general rule of thumb when I go to the bins and I go sourcing is I fill up a cart. It takes me about 45 minutes to an hour or so to be able to fill up a cart. I end up usually with around uh, 55 to 65 pounds in the cart. Um, and then it equates usually out to about a dollar, dollar fifty per item. So going to the bins is a great way for me to be able to source when I'm looking at adding a lot of things to my closet really quickly. Um, so in terms of this particular haul that you're going to be looking at today, um, I had 61 items. I'm not going to show you everything. Um, I picked up 10 pairs of jeans. Um, they're some pretty common brands, um, silver jeans. I picked up a couple of Levi's, um, and Adrian Goldschmied, I think is how you say it. AG, Adrian Goldschmied. Um, some of these brands that I have had experience with in the past, oh, a pair of big star jeans too. Um, or I'm looking at like the back detail of the jeans. Like if it's a brand that eh, is kind of like, eh, but it's got some fun embellishments on the back, I'll still pick those up. So uh, jeans sell pretty well for me, uh, which is why I continue to pick them up and I continue to source them. And I have uh, pretty good luck kind of across the spectrum as far as um, different sizes, um, different styles, different brands. So there isn't just one brand that na that naturally sells really well for me. Um, there's a lot of different brands that I will pick up. So getting into then um, the things that I did pick up. Actually, I'm going to start with accessories and shoes. I did um, branch off and do a little bit more in terms of uh, handbags that I picked up. I picked up, I found some cute um, handbags uh, that I grabbed, but then shoes, I did pick up some shoes this time around. Shoes are kind of an interesting thing. I've talked about this in previous videos. It's kind of like an exercise in patience as far as shoes, because you are not often going to find two shoes right together. You'll find one in one bin and another in another bin. And I picked up actually this really cute Dan Scoo, um, purple clog and it looked to be in great shape. Um, I never did find the pair, the matching uh, set to that, but because it was at the bottom of my cart and I'd forgotten about it, I ended up coming home with one Dan Scoo purple clog. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with that one, but that's okay. Um, all right, so starting out, these are a pair of Ann Taylor, just cute little leopard uh, flats, you can see. Leopard print seems to be in style all the time. And these are just a really cute casual um, shoe. And you can see they're in really great shape. So they don't really look like they've been worn. Um, so pick those up, thought that those were cute. Um, I picked up this pair of Vans and you can see the reason I picked them up was because of the print. They're this really fun kind of nautical print. So these are a women's uh, size eight little nautical vans slip-ons. I know what the size is without having to look at some of these, these things because I actually already did this video once. Uh, my lighting was so horrible during it that I decided I, there's no way I could put that up. 
I needed to redo this. So I remember I, I spent time looking for that size while we were doing that last time. Um, these are a pair of Toms, uh, cute little gray sneakers. This one, I haven't been able to find the size yet, but they seem pretty small. So I think they're probably like a six, six and a half, which is not a great size. And actually I've tried a couple of pairs of Toms in my closet so far and they're still sitting, but other people have really good luck with Toms. So I keep thinking maybe if I find the right style, they will go quicker. So I picked those up. Um, another brand that kind of sits in my closet and I will still, I, I've really stopped picking them up. Um, and then I go against that as I'm holding this pair in my hands is Clark's. Um, you know, Clark's are a really nicely made shoe, but um, probably a little bit oversaturated perhaps in the market. You know, it's a nice mid-range kind of shoe. This is a cute little brown buckled uh, heel loafer, kind of, and it's got the zip detail on the sides as well. And then when you look at the bottoms, you know, they look great in terms of wear on the bottom. So very, you know, if they've been worn at all, it's been maybe just once, um, which is why I picked them up because they were in such great shape. And then let's see, I'm gonna have to put on my readers for this to see what size these are. Uh, da, da, da. These are, yeah, an eight. I think that's what it says there is an eight. That looks about right. And then the last pair of shoes that I picked up my son loves, 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 loves dinosaurs. I wish these were his size. So cute little pair of dinosaur galoshes, different kinds of dinosaurs on it. They're a size toddler seven. So I thought somebody, I, I don't do that great with kids, uh, but I did pick up a couple of kids things on this haul that you're gonna see this being one of them. So the 10 pairs of jeans, those shoes, and then I did, like I said, pick up some handbags. So this is kind of this cute little hobo handbag, more of a medium size, and it is a Lucky brand. If you can see that there. It is Lucky, which is why I picked it up. Um, it does have a little pocket in the front here. And then the inside really just requires a little bit of cleaning. I mean, it looks pretty decent on the inside. So I thought, you know, for just a great kind of casual wear purse, it's in really good shape. So we'll try that out. Um, this, it is a Dana Buchanan, little, you know, kind of weave basket kind of, again, it's a little bit more of that medium size uh, strap, shoulder strap bag. Um, cute little weave here at the bottom, more of this kind of, um, you know, canvas type of material here. And then the inside has got this cute little lining and again, like it looks like it has never been used. So it was in really great shape. You can see that the, uh, the plastic is actually still on the metal uh, logo tag here. So pick that up, nice little option for summer. Probably will sit for a while in my closet, but that's okay. Um, this was super fun. I mean, who doesn't need a cute little red shoulder purse, right? Um, and this is a new to me brand, Pavonia. I, I imagine it's not an expensive brand at all, but still because of the condition of the bag, the color being a cute solid red color, the, uh, the plastic is still here on the metal tag. And then the inside is this kind of cute, creamish yellow lining, a little bit of striping here. And again, looks brand new, um, probably uh, never been used. That's why I picked that up. And then the last one, so this is another kind of really good size bag. It's by Jafra. You can see the tag here, Jafra. And I don't know, I just thought, you know, somebody looking for a nice casual bag or something, you know, to take on an airplane on vacation. Um, it's a little bit more of that kind of canvassy carpet kind of feel to it. It's not, it's not a carpet, obviously, but it has that kind of look to it with the floral detail. And then the inside is clean. You know, again, another purse that her, a bag that has probably never been used, which is why I picked it up. So from Jafra, and then it's got a little pocket right here as well on the side. Nice size bag. Okay, so those are the bags and the shoes. Now we are going to move on to the clothes. One thing to note, I live in Minnesota. It is winter time. So that means um, 
there are a ton of jackets that I'm finding at the bins. And I didn't really realize how many jackets I picked up until I started putting them on the rack here. So I got a ton of jackets. I'm not gonna start with the jackets. I'll end with the jackets. Uh, let's head around. Um, from Silence and Noise. So there's the tag. You can see there, this is a size small, uh, but it's more of a tunic style. And it's got this cute little um, chandelier kind of bottom that's more of the see-through fabric. Uh, really, it's, it's super soft and it's got this, you know, seam detail across the back. So a perfect little sweater. It's actually not a little sweater because it's tunic size, but a perfect casual sweater for the winter months. Thought that was really cute. Another thing just about kind of my philosophy as I was going into this haul too. I've noticed, and maybe it's just because of the items that I happen to have left as I was kind of finishing out my death pile this time around. I have a ton of black or navy blue items that I was photographing. And I don't know about you, I have a really difficult time getting the really pop details or textured details of black and navy blue items when I'm going to photograph them. So I end up spending a lot more time working on editing those photos to make sure those details are visible to someone who is buying it, which means I'm always worried about lighting. Um, I'm usually photographing things um, not in natural daylight. I'm, I'm using my, my ring light that I've got back there. Um, and in my new office space, you know, I do have a nice white wall, but still like it's really hard to photograph black and navy blue items. So I, when I went into this thrift haul, I deliberately said to myself, you need to find color. Self, you need to start looking at color. I'm actually kind of a basics kind of girl in my own wardrobe. I usually go for very classic, you know, black neutral kinds of tones. So I kind of went for everything that I could find that wasn't black or navy blue. I still have a couple of things in here, but nonetheless, that was my, my philosophy going in. So this, it's a cute little top. It's a little bit more of a see-through kind of top from Lauren Conrad. Um, I thought this would be a cute little layering piece for workwear in the back. You can see it's, so this is an extra small. There's the tag right there, LC Lauren Con Conrad. It does have this cute little tie back, so it would have, you know, peephole back. Um, and then just a nice little cute floral uh, detail as far as the pattern. Uh, so that was a cute little shirt. I did find some things that I thought would be great for holiday, the holiday season. And this is more casual wear. This is a Chico size, size one, which I believe is an extra large. I think the zero is a large one, it's extra large and on up from there. Uh, cute little sweater, just a real basic kind of brown sweater. But if you can see, it's got these little glitter details. It's got some maroon kind of gold threading through it that um, give it a little bit of a sparkle. And it is a little bit more of a see-through type of, um, of material because it's more of that knit. It's a three quarter sleeve length. So I thought this would be something that would be really cute for just kind of going out, but a little bit of a festive feel to it. And it's a nice length. So there's that. All right, so this is, the brand is Nisha. Nisha, and it's a medium. And this is a cute heather gray knit dress, be knee length here. There's the bottom, um, some little button detail on the front, short sleeves. So you probably would during the cooler months be putting something over this, a little bit of that kind of fold over collar. And then on the back, it's got this little bit of a gathering um, to make it a more uh, contoured silhouette. So I thought that was a, a very neat little piece. Um, we probably should, we could play probably a drinking game of how many times does Christy say cute during this video. Don't do that because you probably would end up uh, not feeling great after the end of that. I'm going to try to limit my use of the word cute. Let's see how I do. Okay, moving on. Uh, I am a big fan of like motto style uh, t-shirts or um, sweaters or anything like that. That's kind of got like a little positive message to it. I usually, it like resonates with me. So this is a, it's a teal blue, get hype, casual. It's more of um, that kind of performance fit kind of material. So probably would be great for some like 
you know, athletic wear or wearing this over, you know, as you're going to the gym, it is, let's see, the tag is down here. It is by Alexandra and it is an adult size small. This could be, I think it's still a woman's uh, shirt, but maybe it could be a men's. Um, I'll have to look at the measurements on it. But in case we'll get hype, thought that was um, something that would be interesting in terms of pops of color in my closet. I almost said cute again. Um, okay, Talbots. Talbots, Chico's, White House Black Market, Limited, um, all of those, J Jones New York or New York and Company, that's the one that I was thinking of. I can find those brands, those mall brands all day long um, in my bins, my local consignment stores. Um, so I, I'm kind of like, eh, when I do pick it up, but this was this cute little cardigan, button cardigan. Um, it is more of a blue than a teal. It does have a little co structured collar at the top. And uh, just to give commentary on this, and it's this nice, you know, soft kind of fabric. I was looking for something to wear over this dress to meet with a client today. And I was looking for just a cardigan that would work. That would work. I ran in here, I grabbed this, it worked great. Um, not, but it is definitely going to go in my closet. It's a size medium from Talbot's. Um, cute little workwear, I think. Um, and I demonstrated that today. All right. I did not grab much in terms of other bottoms other than the jeans. I think this might be the only one. So this is by Karen Kane. Let's get that. Or Karen Scott, sorry. Karen Scott. It is a size 10 here. Karen Scott, size 10, um, little kind of army green. When I originally picked this up out of the bins, got the pockets on the back, I thought it was a skirt, little mini. I went to wash it and <laughs> surprise, surprise, it's actually squirts. Um, I love squirts. I think they're great for, you know, wear casual fit, uh, casual clothes in the summer. So that is a cute little pair of squirts from Karen Scott. All right. Uh, Preppy wear. This is this is a Tommy. Uh, it is a size medium. Tommy, L Ralph Lauren, Lauren, Ralph Lauren, um, all of those different kinds of preppy brands. They sell okay in my closet. I have a couple of super cute pieces from Tommy, like Argyle sweaters. They're the same size. So somebody could like come in my closet and bundle those two things and be off with them and probably be really happy with them um, that have been sitting in my closet for Ever. and I don't know why uh, so I'm kind of like eh, I'm picking up some of the preppy you know those preppy brands but in any case this is a nice little um, long sleeve stripe this is like a midnight blue midnight blue black kind of color striped it's got the little tag here at the bottom um, you know talking about that it's uh, manufactured by Tommy Hilfiger uh, so cute little basic sweater great for of course this time of year all right so this is by pink republic this little sweater it is an extra large here's the thing um that's my size um and you can see that it would be a very fitted uh long sleeve sweater it does have cute little button detail here on the sleeve um, so I would say in the listing that this is something that runs on the small side. When I do, I'm going to, you know, I'll do my measurements, I'll put it up, but even though that this says it's an extra large, um, I'm thinking this is probably more of a medium fit. So either, um, somebody washed it and it shrank a little bit, or that's just the styling, but I will disclose that in the listing. All right. This is by Christopher Banks. It is a medium and it is a little vest and it is again of that same kind of like purse kind of material that we saw in the purse earlier, kind of that jacquard kind of um, heavier duty fit. It has some of these interesting details on the back, some floral patterning. patterning. Um, and I just thought from for a layering basic to give it a little pop of something for workwear, this would be a nice option, which is why I picked that up. Moving on. Okay. Vidania. So this is a new to me brand. Vidania. This is an XXL. Black and white swirly pattern. 
open face cardigan. And it is more of that see-through material, so it is going to have to be a layering piece for sure, which of course a cardigan usually is a layering piece, but it's not gonna be something that's gonna keep you really warm. This is a piece that you wear just because of the pattern and how it adds a nice look to your outfits. So the Danya, that cardigan there. Going back to my desire to want to have some color. So this is a Daisy Fuentes top. You can see it's a size extra large. Um, not something I expect to get a lot of money for. I mean, I think if I get that, you know, 12 to $15 for this, I think that'll be great. Uh, but it's this pretty multicolored pattern. It's got this little kind of pleating in the front that I think is really flattering. Uh, again, just kind of a great layering piece. Like I was thinking somebody wears this with a basic uh, gray suit jacket or uh, gray uh, skirt. I think it would be really something with, that would give it a pop. And it does have this little keyhole front to it as well. That's why I picked it up. I love this next sweater. It is by the limited. It is a size medium. Um, nice, warm, neutral toned, a little bit more of a heavier material, long sleeve, that cowl fold over neckline. Really classic, basic classic piece. Would look fantastic with a pair, I think, of skinny jeans and, you know, little heels. So, Nice little piece that I think is a great basic to add to my closet. This is by Joseph A. It is a size small. You can see here, let me try and get the get it down there. There we go, size small. Uh, again, a little cardigan, um, but I like the interesting detail on the bell sleeve here, as well as on the bottom and then along the open face. There's no um, catches or uh, clasps or anything like this. So it is meant to be more of that open face fit. Pretty little piece of layering basic for workwear. And it is more of a camel color. It's a nice neutral tone. Not black or navy blue, by the way. Going back to, I love um, different things that have positive messaging on the front. This is a purple. It is by... Um, alternative earth, alternative earth. It is a large, I believe, extra large, the deconstructed neckline and it says lived loved. It's got pockets, so it could probably be pajama wear or just a really casual piece to wear out um, when you're going out. So this is not discoloration. I wash this, it's still wet from the washing. Um, I, I washed everything and then especially things that I'm not sure if they're going to be things that shrink or not. I take them out of the washer and then I hang them and I let them dry that way. Another piece from Talbot's. You can see this is a small uh, layering piece, basic tank. And it is more of that blue color, nice tone for being able to layer for workwear. Again, not something that I would expect to get a ton um, of money for, but something that would easily work, I'd say within the 12 to $15 range. So the last sweater here, Eddie Bauer. Here's another one of my preppy wear. Eddie Bauer, it is a size extra large. You can see it's another basic long sleeve sweater. Nice oversized kind of fit, fit and style. And it's got these varying uh, bands of green and then the white stripe for a nice contrast. Again, a pair of uh, skinny jeans and some loafers or heels would look great for that if you're dressing it up. All right, let's move into the jackets, shall we? There's a lot of them. You're gonna be, this is where all of the pounds that were in my cart is where it all came from. I love this jacket, love, love, love it. Wish it was my size. It's a uh, Juicy Couture and it is a size medium. No, it's just, it is a size large. It looks like it runs a little bit small though. Um, military style kind of buttons on the front here. And then it's got pockets. It's got these buckles on the cuffs. On the back, it's got this extra panel with this little kind of 
uh, pleating detail, just really cute jacket. Um, and it is more of that shorter length. So it's not, you know, it is meant to be more of a dress jacket than like a jacket jacket. You, cooler weather, okay. Cold weather like here in Minnesota, no. You need something more substantial than that. <laughs> All right. This is by Christopher and Banks. Another Christopher and Banks. It is a medium. Uh, it is this chocolate brown and it has this slight velour feel to it. So it makes it feel super soft and nice. Um, and it does have, again, silver buttons on the front pockets. So it's, it's meant to, I think, imitate a little bit more of a denim uh, jacket, but it is uh, more dressy with the coloring as well as the material. Nice little basic jacket. Dress that up or wear it with jeans would look, uh, would look great. Almost said cute again. Mm. Got to work on that for sure. Okay, so this is a newer to me brand. It's Atoff Studios. Okay, Atoff Studios. It is a size small and you can see it's new with tags, which I don't find a lot of new with tags things at the bins. If I do find something and it's cute, you can bet I'm gonna pick it up. So this jacket, it's a dress jacket. It has fringe around the collar, down the front, a little bit more of that kind of lapel right here. It's got the fringe on the cuff as well as on the bottom. It's got pockets and then it also has a little belt that can go with it. So it's more of that contoured fit. What I thought was also a little bit unique about it so this is navy blue stitching. And then the, it's got these little gold kind of speckles throughout the pattern. So it has a little bit of a pop to it as well. Who doesn't love fringe? Fringe is like uh, sparkles, you know, anything uh, or sequins. Everybody loves fringe, everybody loves sequins. This jacket by Maggie London, see here, size eight. I think this is more of a formal jacket uh, for more of a formal occasion. You can see it's a pretty lavender, which means it'll probably sit until spring for me. And you know, that's okay. I'm willing to, I'm willing to hang on to it. Uh, basic dress jacket. And it's got some of this kind of textured pattern detail around it. I could definitely see this being like a, a jacket that mother of the bride or something like that would be wearing along with a pretty dress underneath. So, uh, Maggie London jacket there. Okay, new to me brand, Liverpool. I need to look this one up. It is a size large. So it's an imitation kind of denim, denim jacket because it feels like the same type of material as like a chambray shirt, except just a little bit heavier. So it's more of a medium weight, definitely not a denim jacket, but more of that chambray kind of material to it. But it has the denim jacket look to it. With the buttons down the front, it's got your pockets, your pocket detail here, and then just a basic back. Not something I would wear if it was any colder than like 40 degrees here in Minnesota, because otherwise it wouldn't keep me warm. Oh. Yes, Herman Geist. Okay, so Herman Geist, and this is a size eight. Another, it was a newer to me label. I thought this mini was just so cute. And you feel the material, it feels super well made. Check the comps on it before I even like left the parking lot of the Goodwill, because it was one of the last, I think it might've been the last thing I threw in my, um, in my cart. And this is something that I can probably get about $25 or $30 for. It's got the little pleat in the front to give it a little, you know, extra detail there. It's got a zippered back, but just it's more of this maroon kind of color with these little circle dots all over it. Really um, a fun skirt that I think somebody would love. There's my black. Uh, but the white polka dots more than make up for for that gives it that detail that should make it e much easier, much, much easier to photograph. This is a Casper and it is a size 12. I like that as well. So it's a little bit of a, um, a larger size, which sells pretty well in my closet. And you can see it is a knee length skirt, zipper back. It has that feel of silk, but it's not silk. 
So it's uh, something that you can definitely throw in the washer um, and washer and dryer for more of that easy care. So nice little basic uh, polka dot skirt. This next piece, I went back and forth. I'm standing at the bins. I'm looking at it. I'm like dying because I have fallen in love with it. And there's a reason that I was going, do I get it? Do I get it? Do I get it? And I'll tell you why here in just a minute. So <laughs> I just love, I don't, I just love this jacket. It is more of a camel kind of uh, tan quilted. So it's got a, just, it feels so nice and soft and it's quilted long sleeve jacket. It has the black piping kind of details as well as the black stitching for, you know, the little individual squares. It's got this interesting detail, um, a pop of black here on the cuff. It's really, um, again, it's the inside that lining is still more of that kind of quilted lining to it. But you can see there is no tag. So then I'm checking here and I'm checking here. No tags, no tags anywhere. I have no idea what brand this is. I have no idea what the material is. And that is why I went back and forth on do I pick it up or not. And then I thought, well, it is something I'm finding at the bins. So I'm not spending a ton of money on it if nobody wants it. But how cute is this? I mean, who wouldn't want this? I don't know the size, but I can do the measurements. I have a sense. Okay, I'm going to do this. I wasn't going to do this. I was purposely not not going to try it on because I might just end up keeping it if it were to fit me. Um, oh, this is so cool. It is not my size. It's a, probably a medium. I'm going to guess it's a medium. Um, I will do the measurements, but look how cute this is. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, that was that and then the Hermann Geist skirt were my two favorite finds, by the way, of the haul. So I did pick it up. I am gonna list it. Somebody's gonna see it and love it just the way I did. And I would guess I could probably still get, you know, 18 to $20 for it, even be, being no brands. Okay, moving on. So this is a Zara jacket. You can see it's this faux um, leather jacket. It's got some interesting details here on the bottom, that kind of quilted, distressed look. Um, it does have a full zip front and then um, snaps to be able to keep out the cold air there at the top. Um, has that quilted detail at the bottom of the back. There is some wear here along the hem uh, of the collar there, as well as a little bit of wear on the inside collar. I still picked it up because I will just disclose that in the listing and I still think for a cute little jacket, you know, something that is a great casual basic, even with that, um, those different details, I think I can probably still get $15, $20 out of it. So pick that up. This is Laura Ashley. You can see Laura Ashley and the size is a petite small. It's like this silver gray full zip jacket. It's got the pocket detail, the zip pockets as well. I'm gonna flip this around pretty textured and it's it's almost like a it's a poof kind of uh texturing pattern on it and it's got that detail so a nice little dress jacket for a more formal occasion i would definitely see this as being something for a more formal occasion all right back to my chicos size two is the size right there what i liked about this vest i'm not a big fan of white uh in general one of the reasons is because what you, what I found around the collar here is some makeup. Uh, there's definitely some makeup staining here. I can get that out and I know that, which is why I still pick this up. What I liked about this that was something a little bit different is that it's got these sparkles. It's got sequins here on the pockets. You can see that shimmer shimmer here on the pockets. And then on the back, it's got it across the shoulders as well. For a little going out piece, New Year's Eve, a little bit more casual, this could definitely add a pop to somebody's outfit. So I'm gonna get that all cleaned up. It'll be great, look like brand new. That's going in my closet. Okay, this is a brand 
Mystere. You can see it is a size small. A little taupe jacket. It's got this kind of peplum hem with uh, green lace. Unique, different, right? Green lace detail on the bottom. It does have, again, a little bit of a stain here on the lapel, but I'll get that cleaned up. I'm not too worried about that. Um, little basic, but I love peplum hems. hems. I, I think they're quite flattering on uh, pretty much every figure. So when I do find jackets with more of that kind of peplum flared hem, I always pick it up. We'll see a couple more of those probably as we go along yet. This is from Loft. It is a size medium. Again, a vest, a heavier sweater vest. So this has definitely got more heft to it. A little bit longer. It does have pockets. And then it has the pretty faux neckline detail that is so fun. Uh, will keep your neck nice and warm if you live in cooler climates. A uh, little pop of something fun for going out um, and a little unique piece. Let's pick that up. Going back to more party wear. This is by Jennifer Lopez. It's a size medium. Not something I would expect to get a ton of money for um, in thrifting, but because of the time of year, it's this pretty silver kind of oversized sweater that has the glitter detail throughout. So it makes it a, a little bit of a fun party piece for holiday parties or just going out and being more festive this time of year. That's why I picked that one up. Oh, this one is so cute. Lane Bryant, it is a size 1416W. I saw this in the bins and I had to have it. Sequins, sequins. Oh yes. This is exactly the kind of top you need this time of year. This is a New Year's, New Year's Eve going out kind of tank top and it's got this kind of nice, casual, comfortable fit, perfect layering piece. You are going to get attention and catch eyes in this baby, this bad boy. That was absolutely coming home with me. Love it. All right, this is a decree. Decree, you can see the label there. Uh, size medium, little kind of uh, gray jacket does have the button down front, doesn't have tags on it, but it still has the extra button attached to it. So I'd say this is probably a new without tags item. And of course, featuring the little peplum hem that I already talked about that I love. Thought this was a cute little piece with the little uh, ruffle detail here as well. Um, and the sleeves do, oh, just a slight, little, maybe a little bit of a bell sleeve, but that could definitely be folded up. Uh, cute little piece to wear out and about. Oh yes, another piece, oh, that just fell right to the floor. Cotton Emporium. Cotton Emporium, it is a size large. Another thing that I haven't tried on, on purpose, because this is another top, look at that. It's got a little bit of the gathered hem, so it's got a little bit more of that kind of poof fit at the bottom, but still quite flattering. It's got the ruffle detail here on the sleeves. And then this pretty kind of, it's a velour um, pleated kind of pattern that is just totally eye-catching and gorgeous. Perfect for this time of year. Another piece of just basic kind of workwear from Chico's. From Chico's. It is a size zero, it says. It's kind of this mix of a teal blue. So it's not quite teal, but it is a little bit lighter than your standard light blue. Long sleeves, does have this threaded uh, floral kind of pattern through it. It's got button down, button down front here, and then our little fold up hems. It is probably more, I'd say a cropped fit based on the length that I'm seeing here. Workwear. Screaming red. Screaming red. Puffer vest. Basic. From the gap. Size medium. Yes. This is just like a winter basic around here. You should have a, a, a puffer vest in all colors in your closet if you live in Minnesota. That's my opinion. I mean, because of the swings in our temperature, 
it could be 40 degrees one day and negative 40 the next day. So great little piece. It's got this full zip front with the uh, added uh, snaps here to make sure it stays nice and closed with pockets, etc. I thought this jacket was really unique when I found it. So Nuji, Lee, Nu, Lee, that's, or Lee Imports, there we go. Um, when I see my other jacket over here. Uh, so this jacket has this almost like Frankenstein kind of patterning around it all the way up and down. You can see it's got a little bit of that, that longer length. It is a little bit more of a kind of burnt orange red and it has these details through it where it almost looks like deliberately burned. And, you know, it's like these pops of like dark, darker um, black brown in the patterning as well. Button down, what size is this? It is a size, let me put on my readers, size eight. And I thought this was really unique and different. It is a leather jacket just thrown in the bins. Really interesting piece that I am sure somebody is gonna see this and love it and have to have it. That leads me to my other leather jacket. Here's the Nuage, Nuage, Nuage. Uh, red, red leather. And it's more of like the suede leather jacket. It is a full zip front, a little bit of a longer length, uh, more of a, so it'd probably go to like right below your bum type of length. And it does have the pockets, the collar detail. It's just in really, really great shape. So something I am excited to add to my closet because it is a red, leather jacket as opposed to a black leather jacket. I already have a couple of those in there. Um, this is from Japer. You can see there, found another shirt here. It is a size large. Uh, this, you know, romantic floral or floral, uh, ruffled front with a belt, three quarter bell sleeves, kind of a bell peplum hem here. Just a really cute, basic layering piece and it is more of a it's still again more a little bit more of that kind of teal blue kind of color so I thought that was really neat this is another one it's because it's pink it's because it's a simple tank but it has this interesting kind of um, embroidered pattern on the front uh, flat back panel there I don't know the brand name, but it does have a tag on the inside with the RN number. So I will be able to look that up uh, and be able to determine the size based on measurements as well. I'm guessing that's probably a large. Pretty in pink, pop of pink. I mentioned uh, as well that I don't do really great with kids stuff. I sell stuff that's my son's, but I do pick up a couple of things here and there. And I thought, well, if there's anything that will sell this time of year in kids, it's gotta be jackets, right? I found this adorable, adorable leopard print little girl. This is, um, yeah, Zero, Pro, Zero X Pro Sir. And it is a 12, or 12 month little leopard jacket with a pop of pink faux fur. Oh, so cute. Pink zipper. Yes, in really good condition. Cause you know, kids wear things like three times and then they're out of it. They've grown out of it. Thought that was a really cute little piece to add to my closet right now. And if I'm gonna have a little girl jacket, I have to have a little boy's jacket too. Little faux leather bomber with uh, the, you know, that faux fur. This is uh, Genuine Kids from Oshkosh. It is a 12 month as well. Cute little faux bomber jackets. I love it. I think this is so cute. Oh, if only my son was a size though. So. Uh, so that's it guys. That is what I picked up for my latest haul to the bins. Hopefully you saw some, perhaps you saw some interesting things that you'd like to know more about. All of these things should be in my closet for sale on Poshmark. I would guess in the next week or so. We'll see how my week goes. I do have some time off coming up again from the day job. And what I like to do is work on my posh business when I'm not working the real job. Um, 
And again, my name is Christy. I'm a part-time Poshmark reseller. You can find all of these things and many more um, when you check out my Poshmark closet, which is Betty Chic 1116. You can also find me on Instagram at Betty Chic Boutique. If you like this video and you want to see more content like this, click the thumbs up. That would be fantastic. Or better yet, subscribe to my channel. I love to see subscribers or comments um, on any of these pieces that you have any questions about. You can find me around if you have any questions. So I hope, again, this was insightful and helpful, and I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.